Miss Danielle here, and I have a word for you. Wicked people, wicked measures. Those people that you think are your friends, those people that you know are wicked, all they want to do is take you out. So look, the verse for this video is Mark 7, 20 through 23, which reads, He went on, What comes out of a person is what defiles them. For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evil come from inside and defile a person. So look, these evil people that don't like you, that abuse you, that mistreat you, that take you for granted, they're wicked. And the Lord says that this comes from within. This is in their heart. It's in their heart to do these things. Theft, murder, immorality, greed, adultery, deceit, lewdness, enviousness, jealousy, arrogance. Like all of this stuff is in their heart. And you have to really think like that is so deep. Like if this is in a person's heart, you can't, you can't even imagine like they'll really do this. Like some of this stuff is in their mind. So it says out of a person's heart that evil thoughts come. So these people, they're already thinking about how they're going to do this or do that or what they want to happen to you or X, Y, and Z. That's why it's important that you discern who is wicked and who isn't. And some of these people, they might be your friends, maybe your closest friend. It may even be your kin, like your blood, like your mother or your father or your sister or your brother. Like they may actually be wicked. And I want to remind you, wicked people, wicked measures. These people who are like this, they will go to any extent to be wicked and to, you know, hurt or harm you or to destroy you. And look, some of these wicked people, they're preying on your downfall. They're watching you. They're trying to see what are you going to do? What are you going to do next? They're really waiting. That's why it's important to keep your plans private because wicked people, they're like the devil. But they're people. All they want to do is kill, steal, and destroy. They want to destroy your progress. They want to keep you held back. They want to. They don't want to see you win. They want to, you know, keep you in bondage with them. They want you to live a life of sin. They might. They might even try to like peer pressure you into their life of sin that they have, whether it's drugs, whether it's like the type of lifestyle. Like say they always going to the party or going to clubs, trying to get drunk, trying to do this. They may always be trying to string you along with them, and you have to really think like, why would this person be doing this? Of course, their life is already on that path and they don't want to change. They don't want to grow. They don't want to be the kingdom man or woman that God called them to be. But why would they be trying to, you know, drag you along with them? You got to really think about that. And it may be because they see your light. It may be because they know that if you come into what you're supposed to come into, you're going to be better than them. You're not going to be able to hang with them no more because you're going to be elevated. You're going to be above them. You're going to be, you know, on a different level, a whole different level. You have to really try to, you know, sit down and discern all of your friendships, all of your relationships, all of your connections, everything. You have to think like, why is this person in my life? Is this a positive relationship? Is this friendship benefiting me? Is this connection or business network or whatever it is, is this helping me? You really have to sit back and, you know, think about every relationship that you have and try to understand why is it in your life? What is it doing for you? Is it benefiting you? And I'm not saying like you're gaining off of them, but is this person a loving person? Is this person a righteous person? Is this person someone I can learn from? Is this a person that I can grow with and be with forever in my life? You really have to sit and discern the relationships you have. And God says in this Mark 7, 20 through 23, it says, what comes out of a person is what defiles them. So those words that these people are speaking, the actions that they're doing, this is what will ultimately defile them. This is what defines them like if a person is always doing drugs and they can't stop they're an addict they have an addiction if a person is always drinking every day they're an addict they have an addiction if a person is always angry every day they're an angry person like the stuff that people are doing it really defines who they are you can't just say like oh i'm not angry i'm not i'm, I'm happy but you're angry every day no you're an angry person so it's important to know who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with. And also, like I said, wicked people, wicked measures. You got to keep that in mind. They will go to any extent to destroy you and destroy your progress. Some of these people, they try to sabotage what you're doing. Like, <clears throat> say you have something, you got you got something going on and it's, it's planned for a certain day, like a party or, a, you know, a coming together, a dinner, a birthday dinner, something, you know, anything. Say you got something planned on a certain day. 
this person, they'll plan something else on that day as well. And all of y'all friends will have to choose between whose event they're going to attend. Or you'll have something going on. Say you got a birthday dinner or whatever. This person who you think you thought it, you think it's wicked, but you, you still keep them as your friend. They come to your birthday dinner drunk, wasted, trying to pop off with everybody, just acting a fool. They ruin your dinner. Like this person that is wicked, they want to sabotage what you have going on. They want to destroy any type of light, any type of positivity, any type of progress that you're making, they want to destroy it. And like I said, you got to keep your plans and some things private from these type of people because this is what they live for. They live to, you know, try to take you out. Like this is their life goal is to destroy what you got going on. Whether it's like publicly or unknowingly, like this is what they live for. They don't even have their own goals. They don't have no relationship with God. They don't want to grow. They don't want to overcome. They don't want to, you know be who they can be as well you know they can be successful but they just want to destroy your life like this is their life goal so you got to keep that in mind that's why you have to keep what you're doing private don't tell everybody your plans don't tell everybody this just keep it private until it comes to pass because sometimes the enemy will use any type of information that he has and he's coming and like i told you these people wicked people wicked measures they will go to any extent to harm you and all of these things that can be in their heart as far as theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, folly, evil thoughts, sexual immorality, all of these things, all of these things are evil. You got to think like if a person is constantly thinking about these things, like, oh, kill, steal, destroy, murder, lewdness, mal like if a person is always thinking about these things eventually they're gonna do one of these things so you have to protect yourself from these type of people you have to pray for these people and you have to keep your distance from these type of people and like i said these people may be your family that's okay you got to keep your distance pray for them love them from a distance and just know what their motives is you know their motives because the bible speaks on their motives and everything that god's holy word is talking about as far as these people this stuff is real you feel me that's why i'm telling you that, that holy word, God's word, is wisdom. So you got to tap into it because you're going to know what's going to happen before it even happened. That's what people don't know. Like, that's the secret. Like, God's word is going to give you wisdom before stuff even happened. So look, keep in mind that wicked people, wicked measures. These people, they watching you. They're trying to see what you're doing. They... They, they looking at you. They trying to see what she going to do next. They trying to get to know what she going to do next. They in your business. You feel me? They trying to, what you doing this weekend? What you doing tomorrow? When was, when's your birthday? Like they're, they're trying to get information on you to, you know, come against what you got going on. Your plans, your success, everything. So keep this in mind and remember to protect yourself. Don't disclose everything to these people and know that they for real they really gonna do it they really about that life so protect yourself and pray for them as well so look i hope this message blessed you i love you god bless you and i'll see you next time